Hello, I'm Lenny Henry, and I'm here to perform in a special hometown concert for people just like me. You know, every week for the past 15 years, I've caught the train back home, back to my roots, because, you know, deep down in the end, I'm just an ordinary guy. Certainly. Your ticket, please. Sorry? Can I see your ticket, please? Your ticket? You haven't come off the train. Where's your ticket? Excuse me. What's your name? My name? Yeah. John Cooper. What do you want that for? Could you just hold for a second, John? Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, look, apparently you need something called a ticket to get off the train. <laughs> Search me. You think it's a little cardboard thing you buy before you get on the... Could you... Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, I'll ask him. Yo, Jono, what are you asking for this ticket? Single. No, married. I'm in Birmingham at 27.50. Okay. Vanessa, could you send a cheque for 27.50, please, to Jack Cooper at Birmingham Trainport? Jack heads up the ticket division down here. Uh-huh. I'll ask him. Yeah, Jack, what's your fax number down here? Haven't you got any money on you? Hang on a second, I'll ask. Haven't I got any money on me? <laughs> well, where is it? Hang on, I'll check. Oh, <laughs> Vanessa, you're a genius. Look at this mega one. <laughs> Sorry about that, JJ. So, uh, what was it again? 27.50. 27.50, okay, good. So, um... What about this? Will this do it? Well, I've been away for a very long time. Coming back home just to search off my mind. Yes, I'm coming home someday. Our trouble will be over. We'll do this now. Here I am in the Midlands where everyone knows who I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. Brilliant. Can you get me John French's autograph? <laughs> How can they do that? How can they do that to me? That was my primary school. Do you understand what I'm saying, people? They knocked out my primary school and put up a bloody car park. <laughs> Well, they kind of knocked this place down. This is Mortimer Street, right round the corner from where I was born. And at the end of this street is Tesco's, but not just any old Tesco's. This is the Tesco's that gave me my first summer job stacking shells when I was 12 years old, so... Where the bloody hell is it, then? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the other side of the street. Bastards! They've done it again! <laughs> they've knocked down Tesco's and put up a church! <laughs> Every Saturday afternoon in the mid-70s, me and my mates would crawl all the shops in Birmingham looking for the biggest pair of flares we could find. And hey, look at these Oxford bags. We're talking car park size. And then back to the house, quick wash and brought up with plenty of brutes. And then put your dancing shoes on and down that disco. Yeah! Excuse me, are you Lenny Henry? Yes, well, I think you're great. Oh. I, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you very much. That's great. As a matter of fact, I've got some very early film of you. You're joking. <laughs> well, that's what this is all about. This is a memory lane kind of thing, right, guys? Well, come along and have a look at it. I live just around the corner. Okay, okay, great, great. <laughs> ah, here we are, yes. 1974. <laughs> I took this myself. <laughs> I hope it's not too embarrassing. <laughs> I spotted you very early, young man, and I've been following you ever since. Yeah. I used to work at Denham's. Oh, the big store. Uh, that's right, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny Henry! Uh, thank you very much. 
Thank you very much indeed. What a fabulous audience. Uh, you're so pretty. You're a very delightful audience. I want to I wanna take you all home because I'm trying to sell my house. So, um, <laughs> no, I'm really, really pleased to be here. And I, I'm, it's, there's just something about Midlands audiences. It, and I'm not just saying this because I was born around here and I'm from here, you know, but Midland audiences are quite ugly. So, um, <laughs> I mean, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you, the elephant man, what's your... Um... Pardon? Murray. Barry. Ma Mary. Barry. Barry. Oh. There was no consonant there, Barry. You kind of... Murray. Like this, and, and, and what do you do? You're an engine fitter at Rolls-Royce. How fabulous. What do you drive? <laughs> you drive a stag. Ooh, what, so you just hold onto the antlers and go like this? <laughs> Fantastic. I bet you don't need a Rolls Royce for that. Just plenty of hay and broom, off you go. And somewhere to hang your hat when you get to work, Barry. <laughs> Let's just talk to the people in the really tough seats. Black people, worry, but black people come to this show tonight. Nice to see you. How you doing, man? Nice to see you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> See, just, you know, enjoy yourself. It? <laughs> it's really a sad moment. Are you in show business then? Oh, well, get your foot off my stage, guy, because. <laughs> honestly. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's such an old one. <laughs> Old but appreciated, I would have said. So what about you, boy? And the guy here with the... It's nearly a beard, isn't it? It's kind of... It's like straight dental floss to me, but it's... A, look at this Jesus. How, how are you? It's nice to meet a man with tattoos that are spelt correctly. Anyway, I'm going to talk to this bald guy here, but I won't draw attention to it. Oh, hey, my friend. Look like one buttock just sticking up from the front row. Just... <laughs> A solo buttock on its own. <laughs> oh, it's a, no, it's nice to meet you. Uh, what, what's your name? Paul. Paul, and what do you do? Engineer. You're an engineer, great. I love the way guys sit when they come to the theatre. They sit with their legs akimbo. <laughs> all these guys down the front, they're all sitting with their legs like this. It's like they've smuggled their friends in to watch the show. <laughs> in their pants for nothing. <laughs> Look, watching through the flies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brilliant show, this is. Shut up! There's some girls here with big hair. That's a bike pump job, isn't it? God almighty, I bet you need a sunroof to drive here, don't you? Just, you can poke your hairdo through. 